everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with Zen. Hello. And we're here with the game of all games, Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. <laughs> I'm about to, about to age myself here. Uh, this might be my favorite Sonic game of all time. That, that's exactly why I picked it, and not Sonic Adventure 2, because we've had this argument before over which one is better, <laughs> Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2. And I fall on the side of Sonic Adventure 2, and you fall on the side of Sonic Adventure if Sonic Adventure 2 was, like, just Sonic and Shadow, it would be better. But, I, uh, I, would, I would agree with that. In the same way that I would say if this was actually just Sonic, this would probably yes, this be... this game also suffers from making you play as not Sonic. Yeah. Um, but, like, Tails is just Sonic, but reskinned, so it's not oh, as bad no. in as it is in Sonic Adventure 2, where he's in the weird mech robot suit. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes, you're right. Oh yeah, yeah, the music is cut in, and hopefully people. Also, more or less, just Sonic reskinned. <laughs> like, yeah, it's really just uh, Gamma. Yeah, there he is with a sick ass gun. It's him, Knuckles, and Big are the big like <laughs> things Big holding is back. By far the worst part. Big could have been removed from this game, but there is some charm to him. I if will he, say that. I mean, I mean, it literally is Sega Bass fishing, and I like Sega Bass fishing. <laughs> it's just that when you, you, know, you on the Dreamcast, you could use the uh, fishing rod control when you were playing with him. <sighs> That's really good. It See, I, I like stuff like that. So we're gonna play some Sonic Adventure. I'm not gonna. I do. I've said it before that I'm better in Sonic Adventure 3D Land. That does not mean I'm good. So we'll see how this goes. And I really hope that you can hear us because I forget how loud this music is. Check your memory card. Yeah, check my memory card. Select the file. I'm gonna select here. Okay. Can you hear it, Zen? I'm not 100% sure. I can hear it. Okay. How does it sound on your end? <laughs> I can only. It's super quiet. But I, I can only hear like the. Uh pings of like the menu really yeah that's great yeah it sounds crazy loud for me uh save was completed so let me oh there it is now i can hear it. now you okay now you hear it yeah. all right well obviously we need to go into these options and check it out all right voice and text just voice I don't know the difference between that. I'm going to be 100% real with you. <laughs> I'm going to go back. Subtitles. Oh, subtitles. Gotcha. Okay, we want subtitles then. Alright, going in. Can't pick any of these. Obviously, you got to go with Sonic. I don't need any instructions. I know how to play Sonic. Um, My brother's asking, am I sure? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be 100% real. So the the squirrely nature of 3D Sonic makes it so that it can... Oh, man, look at these fucking amazing 3D models. Oh, yeah, baby. Dude, when this game came out... Graphics barely yeah. touched down for the GameCube. I remember when uh, I was a kid, because, again, I was a Nintendo kid growing up. When I saw Sonic Adventure, I said, that looks fucking rad. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was definitely... Oh. Look at that sick PNG of the background. <laughs> <laughs> All he's doing is running around, but what do you mean? <laughs> I, I mean, they've never. They should take a game that's is set before this specific intro that explains why Sonic was just so happy when he came into the yeah, city. Oh, why he was having that good of a time just running on the roof. Exactly. Now loading. I think it's so funny that there's all just normal humans except for him. It is really <laughs> funny. It's so I, I, fucking th funny. That's why, to be honest, it's the one of the reasons why Mario Odyssey is one of the best Mario games because it's the most Sonic Mario game. Mm -hmm. be because like, there's so many like Sonic references in. There's that a whole stage that's just Station Square. <laughs> there is the ending of that game is basically the ending of a Sonic game, and I was like, holy shit. I actually the 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 people crave. I think they weren't re they weren't ready for it back in the day, but I think once Mario did it, I, it proves further that people are ready for this kind of game. <laughs> they want the Sonic sensibilities back. The first thing these guys do before anything else is just immediately shoot chaos. Yeah, Station Square is in America. Yeah, of course. <laughs> New York, they're just shooting. To be fair, what do you do in this situation when you see chaos for the first time? Most people would say study it. Not in America, though. Shoot it. No, shoot it. Yeah. yeah. Chaos zero. All right, let's see. I'm going to get a ring. There we he, go. He's moving at you, bro. Oh, shit. Okay. 
Uh, so I'll say that if you want some good Sonic Adventure, if it's, I'm not sure if it's still on his channel, but my brother did do a full playthrough of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. It's lost media. It's lost media. He took it off his channel when he decided to go fully fl uh, <laughs> flying gorilla. <laughs> gorilla. When he decided to become the world's number one flying gorilla gotcha YouTuber. <laughs> but it was some amazing content. Damn. Me and the third lost media. Yeah, me and the three people who were there to watch you play <laughs> were enjoying the living shit out of it. All right, I was able to beat chaos. I think that shows that I at least have a decent idea. I am now better than over seventy five percent of all people on YouTube who have played Sonic Adventure and lose the chaos immediately. <laughs> Does Chaos look really drinkable? Yes. I don't think I would drink yeah, he him, does. though. he does. He does. Um, I, I would be curious to try. A little too blue, though. He looks like uh, like that toilet bowl cleaner. Fair. <laughs> what is Eggman doing I up there? I know you're hearing him. I know you're hearing him do that. <laughs> He's not that far away. <laughs> and Eggman's loud as fuck, too. He's gotta be hearing him. Oh yeah, this is the this is the just every single song in this game just brings back a lot. oh yeah, such a good fucking song. This is such a good cutscene. Yeah. Watch out, you're gonna crash. The way his like quills stand up on end when he says ah, tails. <laughs> it, it's he the just, he got in a plane act like plane crash and he's like ah, what am i gonna do with you like, he, he might be dead bro he could be and then oh a plane crash over there at the beach it's the i hope the pilot's okay mr sonic please go see if you can save him it's the interaction with these oh god the camera it's the fact that these ladies look exactly the fucking same <laughs> A monster appears and a plane falls. I came here to relax. This is unbelievable. Look at Classic this. Classic white lady. You yeah, know. The only thinking of themselves. Damn. Also, Sonic doesn't drown when he's immediately in water. What? What happened? I was swimming and missed it. I can tell by her. This only person in the fucking <laughs> pool. It's like, I'm not screwing over my vacation for this. Hey, kid. Whose child is this? I'm Mr. Know-It-All. Here's a clue. I also love the animation of his little arms. <laughs> this is how a kid talks. <laughs> Grab the spinning rings. It's important. As long as you've got the rings, you'll be okay even if you hit any hazards. Now you know. Oh, and don't worry if the view suddenly changes. It does that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> the justification for the terrible camera. It does that sometimes. <laughs> Games are hard. You keep moving in the direction you Why want. Why you make your own game, huh? How about that shit? <laughs> Why don't you go do that, huh? So keep trying. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. Welcome to the Emerald Coast. Alright. Let's go fucking save Tails. Alright, action stage one. Now he will be the real test. Will I die multiple- I love that rescue Tails. He's so distraught. <laughs> will I die multiple times to the whale? Because I remember it can be a little bit squirrely trying to get that working. Alright. As long as you just hold forward, usually you'll just go past the whale. Yeah, I think I remember I- so, though I was definitely way tough when I was a kid. I think by now I would have hopefully learned better, but hey, let's see. This music goes so hard. I love this song. It does. This is a... It's true. That kid did just tell me keep moving forward. If the camera changes, don't worry about it. Just keep going. Yeah, uh, just don't, don't... It don't matter. Just go. It yeah. don't matter at all. <laughs> it don't matter at all. I would say this is maybe one of the the best first levels of a video game. It just tells you immediately what to expect from it, and it has all the spectacle of a giant whale in it. Look, look at that whale! Amazing! That was mind-breaking as a kid. Yeah, he even moves the bridge. Like, he, yeah. Came out, what, like, 2000? 
Yes. I, I, no game was doing shit like this. That that part where he's like, oh god. Like, this entire sequence was just something they didn't do. Now, obviously, nowadays, almost every well, game has it. It's like nothing, but yeah, that shit was rad in 2000. It was. It's true. I could get that extra life, but you know what? I don't need it. Just that good. I'm just that good. I'm sorry. I'm actually a fan of the Sonic 3D Sonic, so therefore there will be no play acting. When I'm bad, I'm just bad. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be and the song changes mid level, bro. This game fucking bangs. Ugh. Yes. Ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the kid's advice. Just don't worry about it. Just go. <laughs> it just does it sometimes. <laughs> Dude, it just, it's just life, man. Just go forward, and you will be okay. I remember as a kid, one time I actually died on that on that part. I think it might be because I let go of the controller, but I can't remember. Whoop. Oh, yeah, go through here. All right, if I survive the whale, I feel like I'm basically good from this point on. Whoop. Who got there? Okay. You got you. They have to include this because back then no one knew what yeah, one, two, three, four. That's, yep. that's the yellow paint of, of the past. <laughs> a little it's, ball that tells you exactly what the fuck to do. It's true. That's also why I'm reading what everyone says, because if you actually talk to people and read what they say, they will tell you what to do next. Oh, look at that. The dolphins go up in the air. Tails is fucking dead on the floor. Sonic goes, yes! Come on. B, at least. No, there was no grading system back then. Damn. No, there is, uh, but you ha each time you replay the level, the oh. goal is different. So there's like a C ranking goal, a B ranking goal, and an A ranking goal. There you go. I'm more used to the thing of like at the end they say like, hey, not bad. That might be from Sonic Adventure 2, where they actually grade you. That might be. Yeah, I think Sonic Adventure 2 is the first time they like score your performance at the end. Yeah. This game also knew that uh, it doesn't care matter what your dialogue is if the song is just blasting over what they're saying. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why is Tails' volume so much lower than everybody else's? Because <laughs> I think they're like, using... It's not mixed right, I don't think. No. No, it's like, I wanna fly! Sonic, I got a new propulsion system. <laughs> He's like coming. It's like my brother actually coming in with his comments. That's what it sounds like. That they recorded tales. Amazing. I also love this little idle animation that Sonic's got going on. The slight <laughs> up and down of the arms. Oh yeah. <laughs> just everything about these cutscene framings is just amazing. It's like the most accidental bad movie framing. Like uh, uh, most bad mo most movies that pretend to be like cheesy, like Sharknado, wishes they had the direction that Sonic Adventure <laughs> had. <laughs> they wish they were one fourth as good as what they're doing in Sonic Adventure. It's impossible. From now on, casinos only open at night. I'm the hotel manager. Call me if you need anything. By the way, if you want to visit the Chow Garden, take the left elevator. Chows are so cute. I will. I got some stuff to drop off on them. Just going to go quickly into the Chow Garden. <laughs> Say hello to everyone. Obviously, the Chow Garden I care about more is in Sonic Adventure 2 because you can actually get like dark and evil, good and evil Chows, but this one's alright too. I like this one because you get the special colored eggs like the, that you find out in the overworld. It's true. All right. The silver one, the gold one, and I think there's one other one that's like that's like a black one, I think. I, that's the thing is that how we get, how we want to open this chow's and we want to be raising correctly and wait for him to. Yeah, do you want to do you want to rock it gently or <laughs> hurl that shit <laughs> like a baseball? That's what I'm thinking right now because that's the way I didn't even know that you could actually just open it doing it this way. I always just chucked him at the wall. <laughs> But apparently if you do it this way, it's a little bit nicer to them. I can't believe that Sonic abandoned the Chow Garden. I'll never forget that interview. Where they were like, hey, what's the number one thing that your fans wish came back to Sonic? And they were like, oh, Chow Gardens. And they're like, oh, does Sonic Frontiers have a Chow Garden? No. No, no it does not. It is, so, it is so frustrating knowing for a fact <laughs> that the Chow Garden is so loved. 
and they do not yeah, want to bring him back. back. <laughs> what were you saying, boy? There's no throwing them at the wall to make them evil, so it's not really worth it in this game. Oh, really? So you can just we can just toss them at the wall, and then we'll suffer no It'll repercussions. Okay, cool. Welcome to the. <laughs> Is everybody back? Welcome to the real world, kid. <laughs> All right. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. All right. Let's see what. Can you? Can we make them wear hats in this one? Uh, no. You you give them animals, and it makes them look like the animals. I think he just throws it away. Yeah, he don't want that. All right, fine. This one doesn't have the lights out of the robots like um like Sonic Adventure 2 did. Yeah. So you gotta just give them the animals. All right, let's give them this fucked up penguin. Pretty sure this gives him crazy, awesome eyebrows. You're correct. Oh no, I gave him feet. This time. I know it can give them eyebrows. It can, for 100% sure. The the weirdness that is the Chows, that the, he was just like, alright, we're taking the characteristics of this penguin's arms. <laughs> I, for some I think that was the only thing I got, so for, you know what, we'll check back on you guys later. Oh, we have the black market, I forgot, I did get like 238 rings. Hello, mysterious man who is selling things inside of a child's garden. Hero fruit. Oh, wait, fruit. that's right. The The director's edition does have good and evil childs in it, like from Sonic Adventure 2, I'm pretty sure. Oh, does it? I think I think DX does. Yeah, I think the child garden has, because the black market is not in the original, the original one. Yeah. Yeah, it's not in it at all. Interesting. So when you give your child a koala bear, it allows them to wear hats. Okay, we have to give him a koala bear if we want to make him wear hats. If you want him to fart, give him a skunk. If we want him to fart, we need to give him a skunk, Zen. <laughs> if you want him to do AOD farts, give him a bowl. <laughs> give him a what? If you want him to do somersaults, give him a mole. Oh, if we want somersaults, we need to find a mole, Zen. I want a somersaulting chow. A mole? That's mm -hmm. probably going to be in the Knuckles uh, mountain level. Well, Sonic goes there too. Sonic goes to like every level. Where the fuck did he go? Yeah, where did our where did our oh, weird is. child go? There he is. I know you're a penguin now. It does not mean you have to hang out by the water. You son of a oh, bitch! Oh, he don't like it. I'll show you. I'll make him like it. Come back here and you eat your goddamn triangle fruit. <laughs> I... I like how he likes it at first, and then he's like, no. You know, I spent 120 rings on this goddamn triangle fruit. You're gonna eat the triangle fruit. You're gonna eat it right in front of me. This is what it's like to raise a child. Just they, they refuse to eat the expensive they ass food. They refuse to eat and crawl away. Unbelievable. I'm gonna make sure that this baby is not at least born in the fucking water and drowning. <laughs> I don't need that on my conscience. There you go. All right. Let's go back out. We'll come visit him later. When he's hungry. Hopefully by then he'll eat his goddamn triangle fruit. There's a lot of money on that triangle fruit, Zen. I worked hard for that triangle fruit and he just hey, tosses it away. without the concept of the value of a ring. Exactly. These damn, damn millennial channel chows. Do you like the view from the station? I love the sea. The sea's always there for me. <laughs> Mako? <laughs> no, I lost my father to the sea. <laughs> The sea killed my father, <laughs> but it's always been there for me. Exactly, and who knows, maybe he's alive. I think these guys are on a date, right? Or maybe I'm just... Yeah, Twinkle Park is the, the couple spot. Damn. Farewell, old relationship. Hello, new relationship. This is what I always say. <laughs> this is what I owe. How many relationships have you had, girl? La la la, we're in love. There's a special for couples in Twinkle Park. I almost read that completely wrong. If you bring a date, you can get in for free. <laughs> Beware, the <laughs> Twinkle and the other kind of park that I was thinking are two completely different kind of parks. <laughs> Have you heard? Somewhere out there, there's a man called Dr. Robotnik. First, he captures helpless animals. Then he throws them into machines. Oh, the poor animals. It's pretty bad. All right, let's go. There's like, we know there are cops here. Why do they just don't do anything? I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Here's Sonic will get them. Here's Mr. O know it all. Here's a tip. When you jump, it makes a big difference. How long you hold down the button? Hold That's it longer. True. You can jump longer and higher. Did you know that? Hey, did you know gaming over here? Trying to teach me fucking how to play this game. All right, here we go. Oh, goddamn, that was a huge jump. 
All right, I'm going in. I'm going over to maybe one of the greatest overworld tracks in the history of the world. The Mystic Ruins theme. I love the Mystic Ruins, bro. It goes wait, so hard. Wait for it. There it is. It was loading in the music. We're yeah, explosion. it was giving you a minute to mentally prepare yourself. Yeah, there we go. Very far. All right. Hey, Hello, to call. You got it. Where could this mysterious workshop be? It might just be over here. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic. I love that Is they... Sonic Adventure 2 when he just says fuck it I'm Eggman now? Yes. I believe by, by that one that's when he embraces it. This was the uh, the transitional phrase. Yeah, because this is the first game where they called him that. Because he was always just Dr. Robotnik in uh, the 2D ones. Yep. Well, in English. In Japan, obviously, he was always Eggman. Yeah. I also love that the, uh, he has no mouth because his mustache has Get him, it. Sonic. Light him up, son. All right, here we go. Imagine just seeing that he, the, that scientist over there is just watching this man fucking throw hands down with a hedgehog. <laughs> Came here to study these mystic ruins, and I've I love seen... how like most of the world's tech is just like normal. <laughs> Except for Robotnik and Tails, who are operating a hundred years into the future. Egg Hornet. Why do you name it the Egg Hornet if his name is uh, Robotnik? Ask me. Ask me that. Oh God! All right, now we're good. Thankfully, every other boss in Sonic Adventure Two is just this boss, <laughs> so I know how to handle this guy. Look how different this is compared to me playing 2D Sonic. <laughs> That's true. If this were 2D Sonic, you'd have died three times already. It, this is 100% real facts. Here, I just understand the logic. I'm just like, oh yeah, I know, I get it. But I feel like that's the opposite experience for most people, where they cannot understand the logic of 3D Sonic to save their life. Me, nah. Oh yeah, these rockets? Whatever. I'm Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. I'm faster than these rockets. Oh god! Unless I hit some kind of invincible wall, in which case then I am not faster. Come on, buddy. Alright, he's done here. I'll play with you some other time. Not today. Some rings for my child bearing. So you saw how the pieces all blew off, right? Yeah. All those pieces blew off. Now he's here. Oh, no, there's his mouth, but it does not animate. It does not move, no. No, he just has teeth. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, at that, look at that emerald just floating above his hand. Thank you, Sonic. I would have never recognized <laughs> I would him. never remember <laughs> this. And here he is, Chaos 1.0. God damn, he's got a big ass, he's got Murder Samasu arm. Yeah. This is where they took it from. They walked into the design room and said, Y'all ever play Sonic Adventure 1? <laughs> That's what we're going for here. <laughs> we're going for it right here. What a horrible plan. Just one city. It's not even like I want to take over the world. I just want <laughs> one city. And then he would have to be like a delegation of nations. I'm just saying that Eggman, it's not worth it. <laughs> You're gonna have to do so much political shit afterwards. 
How dare he try and get away from the U.S. system? <laughs> Robotic land is an affront to the United States. <laughs> He's trying to secede. <laughs> He's trying to secede from the nation, Tails. We won't let him. <laughs> he says it's the state's rights issues, but we know the real reason why. <laughs> Says it's for states' rights to throw animals and robots, <laughs> but we know the truth. Exactly, we do. And then uh, th this is the part where I was always so fucking confused as a kid because it was like that cutscene ends. They don't tell you what the fuck to do next. You have to just nope. figure out or talk and to you enough. Pick this thing up, and it's not anywhere near where you have to take it. Nowhere close. If I remember right, it's like right here, right? Yeah, it's up here in like one of the caves on the right side. Yeah, here's this guy. You have to go around exploring it. All right. Here the Mystic here. Ruins goes crazy, man. I love this place. Hey, wait, wait, wait. It's amazing. All right, now we have access to the second level. And I think with that, we'll stop right here. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back for some more Sonic Adventure because we have just too much fun playing Sonic games. <laughs> God, I love Sonic. Yeah, say goodbye, Zen. See y'all next time. Say goodbye, boy. Bye.